Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to Top Channel 111. In this video, let us look at how to upload any HTML page into your WordPress website. So this tutorial is not about creating a, a page template that you will use in WordPress. Uh, I have that tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description. This is just to show you a quick way or a shortcut to upload any HTML page into your WordPress website without doing a lot of things. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is a single page website I created for a client and you can see everything is on a single page. So you have the navigation menu here and uh, uh, when you click on it, uh, by the way, I also do websites. So if you want uh, a website then for, for you, a landing page, opt-in page, or just a website, just send me a message and I see what we can do. Uh, so yeah, this is the page I want to upload. So what we want to do is upload it to our WordPress. So this is my website. So if you go to uh, view. This is how the top channel website looks like. But uh, what I want to do is add this page uh, somewhere uh, so that when someone goes to say www.yourwebsite forward slash maybe uh, let's say service, they will go to that, uh, to this, to a page that looks like this. So the first thing you're going to need is the project files for your website for this page for, for the page you want to upload so this page uh, this website here has the following files there's the css there's the images uh, javascript and uh, a php script to process uh, this form uh, basically when the user send, enters the information here uh, they, and they hit uh, the submit button uh, this information is sent to your email and uh, all that is processed by this uh, by this PHP script and uh, in your WordPress go to the plugins and you want to install a plugin called WP file manager I have already installed it here but uh, you just go into plugins add new and then search it from here so WP file manager what this plugin if I can write file manager what this plugin does is uh, it allows you to it allows you to access your WordPress installation folder and this is where you're going to upload are these files here so that uh, they, ha they, they are contained in a folder uh, of its own separate from the WordPress installation folder and now whatever you name that folder then when you go to the URL or to, the, to your domain name you just stroke the name of the folder I uh, say services uh, services uh, if you name the folder services then you just stroke uh, you just add forward slash services on your domain name and then you will access that page from there so let's do that so after installing file manager make sure to make sure to up to activate it and then you will have it here in the side menu here and then you click on it so it will take you to your wordpress installation folder so let's give it a moment so Yes, so this is the WordPress installation folder and you can see all the WordPress installation files. Uh, so we don't want to touch any of those. So what we want to do is uh, create a new folder. Uh, from top here, you will see the icon here, new folder. Call it whatever you want. So call it whatever you want the link to look like. So if you want it to be on, uh, if you want the page to be accessed by going to uh, your domain name, so mine is topchannel111.com forward slash maybe if you want it to be accessed by going to uh, your domain name your domain name forward slash uh, about then make the folder about name the folder about but one thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, uh, if you have another page in your wordpress so if you go to wordpress pages and there is a page called about uh, it will be conflicting with this page so uh, then your website won't know which page to show so make sure that uh, whatever folder you name doesn't conflict with any of the pages you have in your wordpress pages so let's go in uh because we because we already have uh, the about us page here uh let's create a new folder uh that is named differently so i'll rename this to maybe so this is about so this page was about uh junk removal so i'll just call this uh, removal service removal just let me just call that just make it easier so 
after confirming the folder is done and now you double click to enter that folder and now what you need to do is just drag uh, these files here and drop them into that folder so that's just simply uploading them uh, sometimes if you are in uh, a different browser like uh, opera or mozilla you can't just drag folders uh, uh, wp file manager will give you an error so you may want to create those folders first and then upload upload uh, the files inside there or another trick you can do is uh, just select all the folders and zip them so and zip them into a zip file and then upload that zip file as then so let me just show you how to do that let me because let me delete this uh, right click uh delete or duplicate delete ah uh, so just select all the folders all the files and then right click i should see an option to zip the files or just right click in the folder uh, to open up this menu and then go to new you should find uh, then create a new zip file uh, because I'm using WinRAR, which is my which is a software a free software that lets you uh, handle zip files. Uh, it is taking over that option, so you, you don't see it here. But uh, you should see an option to to create a zip file uh, around here. So you create that. Uh, you create the zip file, uh, zip, and then select all the files, then drag them into that zip folder. Now all the files are, are added have been zipped into one zip file. And now you can drag that into the into uh, into file manager uh, to upload uh, that file as a single file. Make sure you have uploaded it in the folder you want to use in the link. Uh, then right click on that folder. I should see the option to extract uh, extract files from archive. So extract here and then yes then all the files will be extracted into that folder so this is what we have and now we are done with the uploading of the page so now if we go to this url uh, so if we go to top channel stroke the name of the folder removal you can see everything has been uploaded and uh, this is how the page looks and it's live on my website so it's very quick and easy you don't have to to mess with anything uh the, the only thing i would like to point out here is that uh, this page is not part of wordpress it's just uh another page on your website in a different folder on your server so if we go to pages you won't see it listed here uh, because it's not uh, it's not part of uh, your wordpress uh, pages uh if you want it to come here in the wordpress pages i have another tutorial about uh, installing a page template that you can uh, let you and that will let you upload the page uh here in your wordpress uh in your wordpress pages in your wordpress pages this is just a simple way to upload any page to your wordpress to your wordpress website uh, without going through the fuss of installing a page template and everything so just to recap let me just show you how to do it again uh, because it's a very simple and quick way just make sure to install wp file manager go to that so that you can access your your wordpress installation folder uh, make sure you are in the main folder not any other folder so you can see we are in the removal folder so we need to navigate out of this uh into the main uh, folder of our server uh where we see the wordpress installation folder and uh, yeah so so let's find another page i could see you let's find let's try this Yeah, so this is another page i created for a client so yeah uh let's try uploading this so you can see it's on my computer you can see this is not uh, a real uh, this is not a live web page so let's find so these are the files uh, powering that uh, this page so it's also a single page uh, it's a learning page uh, and again, if you want a landing page or a website done for you, you can let me know uh, in the in the comment in the comments area, or, or I will leave my email in the description, uh, so that you can uh, so that we can see what we can work out. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, let's create a new folder. I will call this fit this time, and uh, open that folder. Now we just drag. All the files there and we are done 
So just make sure that the files are done uploading. So this seems to be a big issue. Let's see how big are these files. Shouldn't be that big. Okay, so what I was saying before is that uh, if you have the same name, uh, in, if you create a folder with the same name as one of your pages, uh, that those two pages will be conflicting because they will be using, they will be sharing the same URL. So if we go to pages and create uh, the same name, let's first have this uploaded. So if we go to top channel stroke fit, we should have a page that looks uh, like this. So enter and we can see uh, the page is up and running uh, yes, so that's how you upload the page so what I wanted to show you is that uh, if you have uh, the same folder as a page you have in WordPress they they will be conflicting because they they share the same URL so if we go into WordPress and create a new page and uh, call it fit let's add some dummy text here just copy this and uh, paste it here uh, it in the visual area so you can see WordPress has created the same URL as what we have here so now if we update if we publish and go to this page you see it's still redirecting going to this uh, other page It's still showing this page because uh, it's sharing the same URL so so make sure that uh, uh, the, the folder you create does not conflict, does not have the same name as any page you have in your WordPress pages. So yeah, so if you found this useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.